Hello and welcome to the Solar Royal Quick Installation Guide. For a detailed explanation at every step, please review our full installation guide online. First determine the optimal installation location and measure out a 15 inch hole to be cut out. Ideally with a flathead crowbar, slide the flathead up under and around the shingles to remove the nails. With the nails removed, this will allow the base to smoothly slide up under the shingles. Insert the provided screws into the holes located on the base and proceed to secure the base down tightly to the deck board. Take your time to ensure your screws line up with the holes on the base that have been hidden by the shingles. Make sure to install the screws under the shingles, the video is for visual reference only. Once the base has been securely mounted, it's time to properly caulk the base. Caulking is a crucial step in making sure your installation is watertight. Apply the caulk heavily over the screws. When caulking, it is cleaner to caulk the underside of the shingle to ensure a watertight seal. Practice caulking on the lower sides of the visible base because if you do not properly caulk the shingles on the top half, water could run down underneath the base and cause problems. Make sure your insulation is watertight is crucial. Go slow and think it through. Prior to mounting the solar fan unit, be sure you have taken into consideration how you want the solar panel to be angled. Carefully place the thermo ball inside the hole and be sure not to crimp the thermostat wire when placing the solar fan unit onto the base. Now place the solar fan unit onto the base slightly off angle so that you can hear it drop into place. Proceed to turn the unit to the left so that it will lock into its final position. Finally remove the protective film from the solar panel. If you would like to use the angle bracket, unscrew the two screws that hold the panel down. Carefully lift the solar panel up to the angle that best suits your needs. Tighten the bolts to ensure the bracket is secure and put the two remove screws back into the holes where they once were. Be careful not to over tighten these screws, you don't want to damage the unit. Please read the accompanying notes and watch the video a few times before attempting the installation. Thank you again for your time and allowing us to earn your business.